Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma and today we are learning the confusion matrix. Here is the confusion matrix. On one side we are having predicted values. So this side is for the predicted values. Prediction means we are guessing something. The predicted values can be positive or negative. The other side of confusion matrix is actual values. These are the real facts. Predicted values means we are guessing something. Actual means which are the real sense. The actual values can be positive and negative. We can also write positive as 1 and negative as 0 in the actual values. Similarly, we can also write positive as 1 and negative as 0 in the predicted values. To make this confusion matrix, there is an easy method. Just focus on the predicted values and let's say we are having the positive. So here we can see that on both of the cell we are having P and P on right hand side which represent the positive. So here in the positive, this complete row last is the positive and in the next row we are having the negative for the predicted values so here these two cells will be having the last as n which means negative so this is the easy way to construct the confusion matrix here important thing to note that predicted values are having the outcome positive and negative. Now just focus on T and F. These are the true and false. True and false are the outcome of actual values. Now we are understanding the parts of confusion matrix. The first is TP which means true positive. This cell belongs to positive in the predicted values and positive into the actual values. That means prediction is positive and the actual value is also positive. We are taking one example. Let us suppose that we have predicted that some person is having a disease. So this is a positive and in the real means in actual they was having the disease means positive. So this is true positive. We predicted the disease and it is actually there. So our prediction is true. So this is true positive. Now we are moving to next which is TN. It is true negative. This cell falls under prediction is negative and actual is also negative. So what we have predicted is negative and in actual that is the negative. Let's take an example. Let us suppose that we have predicted somebody is not having a disease. So this is negative prediction. And when we have tested actually that is the negative means they are not having the disease. So our prediction of not having a disease is actually right or true. So this is true negative. Here prediction is disease is not there means negative and actually this is right. Disease is not there. This is true negative. Now we are checking the next which is FP. It is false positive. This cell lies with prediction is positive and actual is negative. So here what we have predicted is positive but actually in real it is negative or it is false prediction. Here we are taking one example. Let us suppose that we have predicted 
that somebody is having a disease. So this is the positive for the disease. And when we have tested, actually, in the real sense, the disease was not there. This is negative. So our prediction is false. This is false positive. It is also called type 1 error. This is error means mistake. Here our prediction was positive for the disease. Means we assume that somebody is having a disease and we started the treatment. But in the actual terms it was negative means disease was not there. So this is the case of false positive. We are treating a patient who is actually not having a disease. So this is the type 1 error. Now we are moving to Fn. It is false negative. This cell is coming with prediction is negative and actual is positive. Here we have predicted negative but in the actual it was positive. So this is the false negative means we have predicted the negative but this was the false. So here our negative prediction is false means in the actual it was positive. Here we are taking one example to understand. Let us suppose that we have predicted that somebody is not having a disease. So this is the negative prediction. But after the tests, in the actual, really we have seen that they was having the disease, means it was positive. So our negative prediction was false. This is the false negative. False negative is also called type 2 error. So this is an error because we have predicted that somebody is not having a disease. So here our assumption was that somebody is not having some disease but actually they was having the disease and we have not given them the medicine because our prediction was negative and in the real world they should be treated. So this is a error. There is an easy way to learn the type 2 error. Here we can see that false and negative. These are the two negative terms. So these two negative terms are making type 2 error. So two times negative sense means type 2 error. So here we have learned the confusion matrix in which on one side we are having the predicted values which can be positive and negative or called 1 or 0. On the other side we are having the actual values which can be positive and negative or 1 or 0. Predicted values are represented with positive and negative. Actual values are represented with true and false. To easily learn the confusion matrix, just focus on the predicted values. Here, the positive row will be having both side last value as positive and negative for the predicted value in the same row have last value as negative. First is TP means true positive. We have predicted something positive and that prediction was right. We predicted the disease is there and disease is actually there. So this is true positive. Then is TN means true negative. We predicted disease is not there and actually the disease was not there means our negative prediction was true. So this is true negative. Then is FP means false positive. We predicted the disease is there but disease was actually not there. Our prediction of positive was false. So this is 
false positive and also called type 1 error. Next is FN means false negative. We predicted disease is not there but it was wrong. False disease was actually there. So our negative prediction was false. This is false negative. It is also called type 2 error. And to easily learn the type 2, just check two negative terms. False is a negative term and negative is also a negative term. So two times negative means type 2 error. The definition of confusion matrix says that it is a table which is used to define, visualize and summarize the performance of classification algorithm. So confusion matrix is a table with the help of that we can define, visualize and summarize the performance of any classification algorithm. There are two types of error. The first is type 1 error that is false positive means we have predicted somebody is having a disease and we started the treatment but actually the disease was not there means our prediction is false. So this is type 1 error. Second type of error is type 2 error which is false negative. Here we have predicted disease is not there and we have not given any medicine but actually disease was there. So our negative prediction was false. This is type 2 error. With the help of confusion matrix we can calculate accuracy, misclassification, precision, sensitivity. This is also called recall and specificity. Now we are taking one example to calculate all these matrix using the confusion matrix. Let us suppose that TP is given 45, FP is 55, FN is 5 and TN is 395. For this confusion matrix, we have to calculate all these matrices. First we are taking is accuracy that is equal to correct divided by all. Here correct means which is actually true. So here we can see that 1 and 2 these are the true. So correct means that will be equal to sum of TP plus TN divide by all means TP plus TN plus FP plus FN. So that will be equal to 45 plus 395 divide by 45 plus 395 plus 55 plus 5. That will be equal to 440 divided by 500 which will be 0.88 or we can say that accuracy is 88%. Next we are calculating is misclassification which is equal to incorrect by all. Incorrect means which is actually false. So here false and false. Two are false. So FP and FN divide by all which means TP plus TN plus FP plus FN. That will be equal to 55 plus 5 divide by 45 plus 395 plus 55 plus 5. This will be equal to 60 
divide by 500 and that is equal to 0.12 or we can say that it is 12% of misclassification. There is one more direct and shortcut formula for the misclassification that is equal to 1 minus accuracy that will be equal to 1 minus accuracy we have calculated is 0.88 and that will be equal to 0.12 which is equivalent to 12% that means misclassification is 12% next we are calculating is precision that is equal to true positive divide by predicted positive that is equal to true positive is TP so it will be equal to TP divide by in the prediction positive means predicted positive so here the prediction positive are TP and FP that will be equal to TP is 45 and divide by TP plus FP means 45 plus 55 which is equal to 45 divide by 100 which is equal to 0.45 or we can say that 45% so precision is 45% next we are learning is sensitivity or recall that is equal to true positive divide by actual positive that is equal to true positive is TP divide by actual positive so here actual positive are these two which means TP plus FN which is equal to TP is 45 divide by TP plus FN means 45 plus 5 that will be equal to 45 divide by 50 which is equal to 0 0.90 or we can say that 90% sensitivity or recall. Next we are calculating is specificity which is equal to true negative divide by actual negative which is equal to true negative is TN divide by actual negative which is actually negative and these are FP and TN so they will be FP plus TN that is equal to TN is 395 divide by FP is 55 plus TN is 395 which will be equal to 395 divide by 450 and that will be equal to 0.88 means 88% is specificity so here we have calculated accuracy misclassification precision sensitivity or recall and specificity from the confusion matrix so that's all for today. Thank you.